I want to show a, a very effective guard pass right now. There are very there are passing systems like you know facing all your passes off a knee cut or a leg drag or a stack pass. You know guys are into float passing now or body lock passing. There's all these systems for passing and they all work. You see the best guys at the world using them at the highest levels on each other. What I'm going to show you today is along with the knee cut and the leg drag the pass that I probably had the most success with probably since blue belt. I mean and it's so easy that it doesn't seem fair. Okay, so I'll break it down for you guys. So what what I want to do. I'm just going to put my opponent into half guard. Right? I, again, I'll show this from different angles. I'm going to put him into half guard. Now, what, where I want to be is here. And I want to sit my hips out towards his leg. Now, if I'm in half guard and he has a knee shield or any kind of lockdown or any kind of specialty half guard, you're going to have to deal with that before you can get kind of body to body. So if they have a knee shield or whatever, you're going to have to get past it. All right? I just want to put that out there. For the sake of what I'm showing you today, I'm not going to show how to get past the knee shield. That can be a different technique for a different time. But if someone chooses to play half guard like this, you're going to have to do something to get around that, okay? So what I like to do is I like to come here, you know, drop my hip on his hip right here. I'm face, uh, my, my hips are faced towards his hips, and I'm gonna get a Kimura grip over here. And again, I'll show this from different angles. Now what I'm gonna do is feed it to one hand. Now when I do that, I'm gonna walk this, my, my trap leg up towards his butt crack. Because even if he tries to hold onto it as, as, as best he can here, there's not a lot that he can do. So when I walk this up, all I'm gonna do is take my free hand, push his leg this close to me, I'm gonna push it down. I can mule kick out to side control, which is what I usually do, or I can push it and slide to mount. Okay. I just want you guys to see every little detail. So now I'll turn Jimmy towards you guys so you guys can see a little more of the Kimura grip. So again, you know, I get here. You, know, you might have to come here first. What I like to do is come here, right? Lock in the Kimura. There are ways to finish from here. But what I'll do is I lock it in and I feed it to one hand, right? Uh, you know, I can try to submit them if I want. Um, it is available here. Um, but I'm going to lock it here. And again, even if he holds on for dear life, all right, push that down, kick the leg out. That's the, again, the way I prefer. Or you can push it down and go to mount. Now, if the guy's got really sticky feet and you push it down and you try to mule kick and the bottom leg is still trapped here, I bring my bottom knee up, push down, kick out. That's how you deal with that. And then the great thing is you can go back to your Kimura from here. I almost always get the submission off this because I can go back to it. And obviously I can even finish it one-handed. Those are options too. So again, you know, if you're struggling to knee cut a guy or use a specific pass on a guy, get into his half guard. Try this. It, it, it almost always works. Okay. So again, get here. And the hardest part will be getting the Kimura. You know, you might have to kind of bend it. You get to where you want, and then come here. And I, bet, I bring it in. Right? I start walking my trap leg up. I don't care how he holds onto it. Push down. Mule kick out. Come, come to side down here. All right? It's pretty easy. All right? Now, a couple of details I want to show on the half guard. We'll turn back to the camera one more time. Is with really athletic guys, you run the risk. If you're here, bridge me over, Park. You run the risk of that happening, okay? And it puts you in a very different position than you're in. So when you guys are here, you know, you're walking this trap leg up. See how I'm posting on my toes like a kickstand? That way if Jimmy bridges into me, he doesn't have it, right? And then I can easily come here and work whatever I want. Thank you. I've been using that pass probably since 2008. Um, I'm a big time knee cut guy and a leg drag guy, but I, I go to this a lot. I actually taught this uh, to my students here tonight. They were looking at me like, I can't believe how easy this is, remember? So I learned it at Blue Belt from a purple belt, and it's even after I learned it, within the weeks after learning it, I was passing black belt cards with it. This is simple, it's effective, as long as your positioning's right. And I kind of broke down what you needed to do. And the submission is always there after you pass. And the threat of the submission helps you get the pass. So you know, practice this, work on it, and it can be a definite addition to your game.